yeah guys um your eyes do not deceive you um just got a very special uh youtube uh notification the other night and i'm still processing it you know right now as i speak and um you know what i mean didn't see it coming you know what i mean um just it was just a regular day at work as far as i'm concerned and um it was on the, the latter end of my shift like around can't remember the time exactly. I think it was around 11 20, 11 25. Um, and I get YouTube notifications all the time. You know, usually it's um, it's my phone's just telling me, like, oh, you know, so and so uploaded a, a video, whatever. You know what I mean? It just makes it easier for me to get to that video, you know what I mean? So I can watch it as soon as I get notified. And um, <clears throat> sometimes I get notifications of when someone subscribes to my channel. And, um, you know, and then, yeah, when I, when I check my phone, I was like, no way, I think, I think my glasses are foggy or something, I need to clean up my glasses, you know what I mean, I'm cleaning up my glasses, make sure I clean up real real good, I put them back on, and I'm just like, oh my god, like, the Ryan Upchurch, subscribe to my channel, man, and, I, and I'm pinching myself, man, because I thought, man, this, this, this has to be a dream, this can't be real, and I was like, oh shit, it's real, and once I, once it pretty much, you know, hit me that it was real, man, I'm texting, you know, my cousin who also is a Ryan Up Church fan, you know, telling him in the, in the caption, I, I even screenshotted it and then sent it to him and I told him in the caption, like, dude, you'll never believe who just made my year, you know what I mean? And I'm texting my girl too, cause she was working too, um, at the time, <clears throat> she, she had just got off, she, had, she, she gets off of work before I do and I'm texting her. I'm like, babe, you'll never believe who just made my year. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? <clears throat> and then I, I even shared it on Facebook, you know, so my friends and family can see, like, like, man, Ryan Upchurch just subscribed to my YouTube channel, man. And I just want to take this time to say thank you to Ryan. If Ryan, if you're watching, man, thank you so very much, man. I really appreciate it. I mean, I know there's probably a million other things you, you could have done, you know what I mean? And for you to take time to visit my channel and Hit me with that sub, man. That man, that that really means a lot, man. It means more than than you'll ever realize, man. I mean, you you made my year, bro. You, you really have, man. And I can't thank you enough for that, man. Appreciate it so much, man. Thank you. Whoo! <laughs> All right, guys. I I want to make sure I I got that in in the video, man, because I am truly truly thankful. And I'm like I said, I'm still processing that, man. Right up, church. Subscribe to my channel, man. Whew. So, yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's get into uh, today's reaction, guys. We are going to react to um, to Adam Calhoun's uh, People Suck, and this is truth. Um, don't mean to be a dick, Adam, but um, I'm pretty sure you meant this is the truth. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, again, I don't mean to be, be a dick or anything, but I'm just trying to make sure I, I got this right. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, see, people suck and this is the truth, um, by Adam Calhoun, guys, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm still, still processing, Whew. okay, alright, so guys, let's go ahead and get into this video, without further ado, like to hear, here go. Hi friends, hi friends, people, <laughs> hey man, he said hi, I had to say hi back, <laughs> Uh. Hi, friends. Hi, friend. <laughs> Want to know something about people? People suck. I'd have to say that most people are miserable, unhappy, and filled with doubt and fear. And Amen, brother. I'm glad you said that because I could not agree more. In fact, uh, I told this story about uh, a fallout I had with, with a friend of mine who... Um, was having some serious, serious anger management issues, and uh, this was a guy who, uh, <clears throat> his name is Kenny, um, I actually started rapping with Kenny, Kenny was the one, um, I'll, I'll always give Kenny this credit, regardless of where we're at, as far as our friendship is concerned, but uh, Kenny was the one who told me where, where to get my uh, studio mic that's covered up by my hats, <laughs> so yeah, I got my Blue Snowball mic. This is the mic I use to record all my songs on. 
And yeah, so if you guys never heard any, any of my songs, I have a playlist called Music Videos and Audio Slash Audio Tracks. So if you guys want to check that out. Oh, while we're on the subject of music, also in my description, I have a link to my CD Baby store. So if you guys want to buy some music, um, all original music from me, we really appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? All the proceeds are going to go right back into the channel, you know, as far as like maintaining equipment and upgrading when necessary. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> So uh, anyway, going back to my story, uh, me and Kenny, we had a falling out because uh, he's rather than, you know, getting back on the mic because he has a mic and he has a studio set up like I do. Um, he has music editing tools like I do. And he, he would just spend all day on Facebook posting, you know, negativity, drama, toxic shit, you know, and um, I finally reached a point where I just had enough. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, you have all this energy, all these issues, and all these things going on. Why aren't you writing? Why aren't you, you know, rapping, making songs? You know what I mean? Do something with yourself instead of just being on Facebook all day posting bullshit. Those same people, they want you to feel how they feel. That's just yep. you. Facts. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> you know, I would announce on Facebook whenever I do a song, and I actually made one country rap song. That is on my channel, and it's called Life Ain't Easy. Um, I'll leave a card up above, so you guys want to check that out real quick and come back. More than welcome to do so. Or if you want to wait till the end screen, I'll have it posted up on the end screen as well. And uh, when I announced that I was going to do this country rap song, my boy Kenny was trying to tell me how to do it. And I'm like, dude, like, like I said earlier, you have a mic, you have a studio. Why don't you show me how to do it instead of telling me how to do it? Why are you trying to live through me? Use me, for example. I get fucking hammered by some of you people you should stick to your funny videos why are you doing music i liked him a lot better when he did and said what i wanted to hear yeah, maybe that's not him. fuck you, you know <laughs> hey facts man I, I i i can't stand when people try to tell you like what you should do with your life you know what i mean and how you should be and you know what i mean like how how to do YouTube or how to do music and stuff like that. Like, hey, look, I'm going to do me and I'm going to do my YouTube and my music my way. OK, I'm doing it for me, not for you. I'm doing it for me and for anyone who cares to listen to what I have to say. You know what I mean? If you want something done your way, like Adam says, fuck you. You go do it. Get off your ass and go do it. Get off that bullshit. Said what I wanted to hear. Yeah, maybe that's not yeah, Fuck you. You know what I like doing? What I want to do. Exactly. I was at home one day and I made a video because I was raising my son and I was like, you, sometimes you just gotta punch your kid in the throat. Now I worked my whole life and after I made that video, it went viral. I still went to work. I went to work for years and I kept making all these viral videos and finally these checks started coming in and I was like, Jesus, I put them in the bank. But it got to a certain point in time where the checks were so big. So what I do, I went and I chased a dream of mine that I had. I've always wanted to be known. I've always wanted to entertain people. I've always wrote music. While yeah. I was making the transit. Yeah, I gotta cut it off here because I'm pretty much the same way, you know what I mean? Uh, ever since I was in junior high, man, I always had notebooks full of lyrics. As a matter of fact, let me grab my bag real quick. You know what I mean? While I'm at work, guys, because, see, I do security, right? And so... I'm pretty much chilling in a in a vehicle all day. So what I do, I get a notebook and I write lyrics. So I can have something to say when I'm on that mic. And that's not my only one. Look at this. Because sometimes I have a habit of forgetting my notebooks. So look at all this. And they're not full or anything. They just they just have some lyrics in them, but they're not completely full. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. You know what I mean? I'm about, like I said, man, I'm with the shit. You know what I mean? Anytime something pops into my head and I'm in the I'm in the car, I'll listen to some beats and I write write shit down. You know what I mean? But um also to coincide with Adam though, I have a plan to where if I make it through YouTube and or my music, um, I still want to work a regular nine to five. Why? Because I want to stay humble and I want to remember where I come from. 
I don't ever want to forget who I am, where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Because um, once you lose yourself, man, that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. You could be, you can end up being the most lonely, miserable human being in the world, you know what I mean? I don't want to be a douchebag, you know what I mean? Like, just because I have money, I don't, I don't want to be in that mindset that, oh, you know what I mean, I can act a certain way. No. I want to make sure I remember who I am, where I come from, you know what I'm saying, and not lose any of the values that were brought upon me by, by my father and my grandfather. You know what I mean? Transition from being an everyday, blue-collar, hard-nosed, working motherfucker to being what I became now, which in my mind is nothing, but what I became now to some people who think I am something. I had all the guys from work being like, dude, you're dumb. You're giving up a job to go do something that might not even work. My own family members were looking at me like, stop making these videos. You're making you, yourself look stupid. You're making us look stupid. And you know what I did? I did what I always do. I didn't listen to anyone. I yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I'm taking my life into my... My life, it's my life, so therefore I should be in control of my life. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever I want to do. And that's what I'm saying. Even if I make it here, I still want to have a 9 to 5 because, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't want to forget who I am. This is just me, though. I, I mean, I don't want to forget who I am. You know what I'm saying? And if I can get to a point like Adam to where I can make a living comfortably, you know, doing what I want to do. If I can, you know, survive off of YouTube and whatever... Or survive off of my music and all that then forget the nine to five you know what I mean let me let me give that spot to someone who needs it more you know what I'm saying but I want to make sure that you know I go into it you know step by step easily you know what I mean I want to make sure that <clears throat> I'm financially secure one way or the other you know what I'm saying so focus and went at it as hard as I could I started doing all these things. I started making apparel. And people were like, ah, oh, this shit's gay. Just make your funny videos. Don't do apparel. Then the apparel took off. Everywhere I go in public, I see people wearing my apparel. And guess what? It's made in America. It's not cotton from Guatemala and printed in America. The fucking cotton is grown in America, stitched, dyed, and fucking made in America. So all you other companies out there, quit the bullshit. So <laughs> hey, That's what's up, Adam. I, I, I respect your hustle, man. That's what's up. Then I'm like, you know what? My passion has always been music. In this room, behind me, first album I ever bought. I mean, Bob Dylan's on the other... Fuck it, I'll just show you guys. <laughs> Fucking Bob Dylan. There he is. I, I, just whatever. The point is, also, shout out to my boy Demon Jones. That's from a tour. I love music. I've always loved music. I grew up listening to all kinds of music. Same here. As I late mentioned in my um, Yellow Wolf reaction, the track Yellow Wolf did called uh, To Whom It May Concern. Uh, I'll leave a card up above if you want to check that out. And uh, pretty much I, I said the same thing, you know what I mean? I grew up listening to all kinds of music. Growing up, my parents introduced me to the oldies. My father introduced me to funk, James Brown, you know what I mean? Soul music, you know what I mean? Like Tower of Power, you know, Malo, Tierra, War, you know, Latin Soul, uh, Santana, you know what I mean? <clears throat> my sister... Got me into uh, into like the '90s R&B, which '90s is my favorite um, is my favorite decade for R&B music. '90s and early 2000s. I'll give I'll give early 2000s a, a definitely a credit for great uh, '90s music or R&B music. And um, my cousins introduced me to rap and hip hop music. My brother was the one who introduced me to Tupac, and uh, yeah, my sister introduced me to Michael Jackson. So yeah. So I said. Basically, music was a part of my life, too. <laughs> I'm going to make a fucking album. Everyone's like, that's stupid. That, it's never going to work. I made an album. Number one on the Billboard charts. Number one on iTunes. Number one on fucking everything. Since then, I've made five more albums. They all went number one. Now, do I think I'm special? No. But do you know what I do think? All you motherfuckers that keep telling me that I can't do something. What the fuck are you doing? Just... Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? I get shit like that too. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this wannabe Eminem guy, you know, or this, this this SoundCloud rapper, this YouTube rapper, this internet rapper. Hey, as long as it, the, the word rapper is in my title and whatever title you want to give me, I'm good with that. Because just like I said in my No Apology song, which you can hear on my SoundCloud, link to that is in the, in the description below. 
Just like I said in that track, man, you can't call me an actor. Can't say my shit ain't out there. Because all those terms and phrases are non-factors. Virus. But, uh, yeah. And all these people who be telling me this shit, what are they doing? Working some 9 to 5. And, hey, nothing wrong with that. You want to work a 9 to 5 for the rest of your life? You want to work for somebody else? I mean, hey, it's your life, your choice. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, don't come and attack me because I'm doing something that I want to do with my life and you're not doing what you want want to do with your life you know what I'm saying and and you're miserable because of the spot you put yourself in you know what I'm saying that's nobody's fault but yours I mean it's your life it's your responsibility your decision you know what I mean take responsibility for for the yeah, decisions you make with your life all right because where you're at that's not my fault just like where I'm at it's not your fault you see how that works Society wants you to think that you grow up, get older, go to college, find your soulmate, get married, have kids, white picket fence, and live happier ever after. I think, mm -hmm. fuck that shit, do what you want, try to be as successful as you can be, don't fuck over people, and become what everyone says you can't be. You fuck a life coach, this man is my life coach. <laughs> you know how much shit I get for liking... That fucking orange-headed motherfucker. You know how much shit I get for saying the things I say? Oh, he's a, homo he's a homophobe. He's fucking racist. He's a hillbilly. He's a redneck. You motherfuckers don't know who the fuck I am. Death threats, boycotts, and protests. And, and you know what I get? I'm a woman hater. You know what I mean? I hate women for some reason. And that's from members of my own family who told me this. California, I can't. you can't come here. Motherfucker, I showed up to every single spot and what happened? No. Oh, and, and I'm a shit talker, a shit stirrer, and whatever. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Think whatever you want about me. Fact is, I'm doing something, and you're not. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing YouTube. I'm doing music. What are you doing? Sitting on social media all day talking shit about me, and you're calling me a shit shit stirrer, a shit talker. Fuck you. Nothing. You know what it is? Internet. That's it. Wait, yep. talk. Talking's cool. You know what I like doing? I like doing it. If you're watching this video right now and you're out of shape and you do not like the way you look, guess what? Get the fuck up right now. Go to the fucking gym and keep going there. You want facts? You know what I mean? I don't like the shape I'm in right now. So you know what I'm doing? Peep game. Yeah. Insanity. Getting my fat ass in shape. fucking results you got to put in the fucking work if exactly. you have a dream and you want to be exactly just like both my grandfather on my father's side and my father had taught me you don't work you don't eat you know what i mean you can live the dream but you got to work your ass off for it as a matter of fact let me tell you something I, I was how old was i around 17 18 years old my first job was being a babysitter i used to babysit my oldest nephew and i used to babysit a, a neighborhood kid who lived uh, across the street from us. As a matter of fact, that kid and his family are actually uh, family friends. You know what I'm saying? And I was making good money babysitting both kids. I was making like, what, like a hundred, hundred bucks a week, maybe? And then after that gig, both those gigs were done, my grandfather used to take me with him to go uh, help demo houses because he used to remodel homes and everything. That was actually like my first real taste into the workforce. You know what I'm saying? That's when I... I was like 19 at the time when I was doing that. And then after that, I went from, I was like in between retail gigs. And man, I spent way too much time on retail. But hey, a job is a job. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. You know what I'm saying? And I'll take care of business. Be a fucking artist or a fucking actor, a fucking rapper, singer, whatever the fuck it is, start now. It yeah. takes time. You can't just get it. Nowadays, Facts, just like I said, uh, what was it, in, in the past few reaction videos that I've done. You know what I mean? Everybody has to start from somewhere. Check this out. This equipment is not up-to-date equipment, but I'm making the best out of it. You know what I mean? I'm starting, I'm making the best out of what I have here to work with. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, everybody has to start from somewhere. And I know over time, as my channel continues to grow, and thank you all so much for your support, by the way. Thank you for helping my channel grow. I love you all. Appreciate you all very much. As long as that happens, I know eventually I can get to where I need to be. And and along the way, 
I can, you know, maintain my equipment and I can upgrade my equipment whenever necessary. Everyone on this fucking earth wants everything right now. When yep. you took that man 20 years... Facts. I know, I know a couple of heads... And my boy Kenny is a good example of this. He's one of those guys that just expects because he feels entitled to have success just fall in his lap without having to put in the work. And and I and he hates it when I remind him, oh, I'm sorry, bro, that it doesn't work that way. You want to be, you know, the best rapper or you want to be, you know, whatever it is you want to be. Well, sitting on your ass and, and talking shit on social media ain't going to get you there, dude. You need to do something better with your life. He had a YouTube and he had one video where... That almost went viral. I mean, it had, a, it had a shit ton of views on it. But then, just like Hobson said in Ill Mind 5, he's one of those guys where um, he'll, he'll try something out, and then two minutes later, he'll put it back down. Those are not the exact words, but it was along those lines. Here's the build. You want it right now. Right. I've been so focused lately on all the negative fucking bullshit. Com I'll get 10,000 awesome comments. So I'll get five shitty comments. And I want to go to these motherfuckers' houses and beat the fuck out of them. This is not just... the fu This is... I, I come out of this fucking thing. I, I'm all over the road. I tour all over the fucking country. Why don't you come to my shows? I'm going on tour in May. I want to see these stupid motherfuckers show up to my shows and say anything crazy to me. Facts. Let me calm down. <laughs> yeah, Adam, you might want to take a chill pill, bro. So let me put you on a little bit of a break, all right? So you can get it together. <laughs> yeah, man. This is what I love about this dude, man. You know what I mean? He 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 speaks his mind. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's about as transparent as you can get, man. And you see him hustling. Every video that pops up, that's part of his hustle. You know what I'm saying? He's got a huge following, you know what I mean? And he worked his ass off for that, you know what I mean? Respect, Adam. Respect. If you're watching this, Adam, respect, brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Tell it like okay. it is. What I'm saying is, if you want anything in life, you got to go and get it. Yep. No more excuses. Yep. I want to be president someday. I want to win a Grammy. Nothing is unattainable. Nothing is impossible. Facts. Hard work. We'll get you there. Bye, friends. Bye, friend. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that was Adam Calhoun with People Suck and This Is Truth. Yeah. I mean, the man pretty much laid it all out there for you. You know what I mean? And like I said, man, I respect this dude. You know what I mean? I appreciate this man for who he is, and I appreciate him for telling it like it is. I respect him for telling it like it is. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely love this video. Adam, this is one of your best videos yet, man. Definitely, definitely. Man, I was, I, I'm definitely feeling this one, man. Pretty much all I can say about that. So, guys, if you're also on the same page with both Adam and I, be sure to let us know by, you know, hitting that thumbs up. Provide that feedback um, in the comments down below. You know what I mean? Feel free to share your thoughts on this whole crazy situation. And so... Yeah, if you're new to the channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Oh, getting ahead of myself. First of all, thank you for your view. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you can be a part of the Jason JV family. Would love to have you. And uh, yeah, all that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it is your boy Jason JV saying y'all take care. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Bye, friends.